males do not have a father and thus cannot have sons but have a grandfather and can have grandsons confusing isn't it in this video we are going to try to solve this mystery we are going to discuss chapter number 5 of standard 12 principles of inheritance and variation the topic of discussion is sex determination in honey bees see honey bees are having a method of sex determination which we call as haploid diploid method in honey bees the female would be having two sets of chromosome that is the females are diploid the females are having 32 chromosomes the females are diploid the males on the other hand are haploid so if in diploid condition 32 chromosomes are there of course in haploid condition we would be having only 16 chromosomes so this is the most fundamental difference in male and female regarding sex determination that females will be having 32 chromosome two sets of chromosome while males will be having only 16 chromosome the first difference is female would be doing meiosis and when a cell having 32 chromosome undergoes meiosis it is going to form egg or ova which is having 16 chromosome so here the egg formation that is going to happen that is going to contain 16 chromosomes while the same thing in the male is done through mitosis do remember this is one of the main characteristic feature in honey bees that the male produces the sperm cell these are the sperm cell so male produces the sperm cell through mitosis so as the male produces the sperm through mitosis the number of chromosome are going to remain the same because in mitosis whatever the chromosomes are present in the parent cell the same number of chromosome are retained even in the daughter cells also so in mitosis 16 chromosomes are there in the parent cell and even the sperm cell would be having 16 chromosome now what is going to happen how a male will be formed now look at over here so here the egg can now have two options some of the egg will directly convert into an organism and they are going to convert into a male by the process called parthenogenesis the egg or the ovum directly converts into a male without fertilization when parthenogenesis occurs there is no fertilization so that is why the male would be having 16 chromosome the same number of chromosome like that of the egg why because here there is no fertilization so only one set of chromosome they will get so this male would be formed and therefore it is having 16 chromosome the same number like the egg but what in case if the egg fertilizes so let us imagine this egg is fertilized with this sperm so when the egg and the sperm undergo fertilization process the number of set of chromosome over here will be 2 so 16 plus 16 now it will be 32 chromosomes and a female offspring would be formed because females will be formed when the number of chromosomes are 32 or there are two sets of chromosome so here 16 chromosomes from the egg and 16 chromosome from the sperm combine together to form the female so do remember females are formed as a result of fertilization while males are formed as a result of parthenogenesis where there is no involvement of fertilization this female can then convert into either a worker bee or it can convert into a queen if it is fed on royal jelly it will convert into a queen otherwise it will convert into a worker bee these males are generally called as drones so i hope you are able to understand so far that how male and female differ as far as number of chromosomes are concerned but still our million dollar question remains unanswered that why males are or rather the males don't have sons they have grandsons and the same way they are having grandfathers and not fathers now observe this female let me take you to the next slide so this female how this female would be formed it would be formed by the combination of sperm from a male and an egg from the female right because a female is formed through fertilization so a female and a male their gametes will fuse which will result into a female offspring right now 
this female is going to give birth to another male just as in case of we had seen over here we are talking about this female right now so this female will also be having a father and a mother right and this female is going to give rise to birth of this male now imagine the condition of this male this male like this one over here who is the father of this male so there is no father because this male is directly formed from this female so this would be working like its mom right its mother so this female is mother of this male and who is the father there is no father because there is no fertilization so this male does not have a father but who is the father of this female this female's father is over here so what kind of relationship would be there between this male and this male the one in the blue and the one in the black what kind of relationship so you can see this male would be grandfather for this male and this would be the grandson for the same so for every male there is no father involved directly they are formed from the female and the father of the female would be working like a grandfather of this male and that is why we say that males do not have father and thus cannot have sons but have a grandfather and can have grandsons that's it thank you